Hit it. Where's Wiley? Where's Wiley? Did you say him? Where's Wiley? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Did you say I'm home? <laughs> where, 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 where is Wally? Where is Wally? Where, where? <laughs> where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> A rousing, rollicking hello, Wally fans! In today's adventure, be on the lookout for a very unusual Milky Way. Identical twin robots, flying saucers and cups, and our dastardly, dusty, and extremely dirty villain, Ogla! And Woof, this track shoe was the very first evidence that Bigfoot had an interest in sports. <laughs> We rope, huh? <laughs> Wizard Whitebeard. Watch this, Wally. Ooh, I'm taking flamenco dancing lessons. Hey. I didn't know you were such a natural dancer. Oh, hey, hey, I've got lots of hidden talents, you know? Oh, but that's not why I stopped by. Wally, I'm sending you to future land. Great, I always wanted to go there. And, oh, let's see, uh -huh. here's something that'll help you along the way. A rose? Oh, it's more than a rose. Are you kidding? It has to do with your adventure. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue, okay? It's an age-old problem, and that's your clue. That's it? Yeah, well, I gotta go, you know? I'm late for my ballet lesson. All right, Wolf, we're on our way. Yes, the land of the future, where many of the things in our future are now in the past. Incredible, isn't it, Wolf? All right, what's up? Look, all the tough jobs are done by robots. <laughs> See something, Wolf? <laughs> So that's it, a robot dog. Rose's Diner. Hey, the first line of Whitebeard's poem. Roses are red. Rose's Diner. Gourmet Magazine gives it a very low rating, but Popular Mechanics rates it four stars. Hi, are you Rose? Rose? Oh, shoot. She's been gone a long time. Howdy, I'm your waitress, Tilly. Want to be hung? The Venus fried steaks, real good. Done just the way they like it on Venus. Sure, sounds fine. Uh, but no fries. Y'all, give me a scorched venuchin and hold the grease blotter. You're certainly busy in here. Hmm, whole town's busy, honey. Intergalaxy President Gomez is arriving today. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> this is a cinch. Ah! I spare an express pit up. I still it. Quite all right. Robot nine, slots up up on the front table, Pronto. Why all have it cleaned up in a jiffy? <laughs> You seem to really like your job. Oh, I love it. I'm as happy as a lark. I get to scrub the floors, wash the dishes. I'm the luckiest robot in the universe. Or at least the galaxy. <laughs> For sure in the room. Nice to meet you. I'm Wally. Oh, look at our doggies. They're having fun. <laughs> His tail fell off. I can fix it. Canine's wiggle waggle falls off all the time. <laughs> oh. 
Number nine. Oh, what a shame you missed him. Today's his day to uh, visit his knees. She's a washer dryer combo. <laughs> He's dead. Don't try to fool me. He is here somewhere. Quick, my car's this way. Oh. Hey, Brian, Brian. Why, I can fix that. Why, it'll just take a second, K-9. thanks, robot number nine. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh my, that's him! Why is that guy after you? Did you do something wrong? What I did wrong was become obsolete, just like Rose. All the old robots, except me now, have been replaced by newfangled high-tech models. What a great jalopy! Ah, oh, they just don't make them like they used to. Aha! Uh -huh. Now's my chance. Cannot escape me. What'll happen if this trasher fellow catches you? He'll take me apart and recycle me. My poor cousin number seven is a manhole cover on the corner of Fifth and Broadway. Uh... Who are you? And what are you doing in my sidecar? Oh, hello. Oddlaw is my name. I'm uh, here to ride share. Just do not get in my way, or I will smash you to smithereens! And by the way, buckle up. Oh, oh, give up! You do not have a chance! Hey, Galaxy Car Wash! Why, we can hide in there! Terrific! Wolf needs a bath anyway! Lucky for robot number nine, Master Treasure is thrown off the trail. He has no idea that robot number nine is hiding in that car wash. Aha! Uh -huh. You hear that? The car wash. Oops! Me and my big narrator mouth. Oh well, say la vie! <laughs> Wow, this is what I call full service. I will teach him it is useless to run from Master Trasher. I'm with you, Trash LB. Wow. Out of my way! Trash Man is coming through! Not bad, Robot 9. Looks like we got rid of him. Oh, dear! My arm! I gave away one too many nuts and bolts. Now, if I can just reattach it, I can... Ah! We're gonna hit that side! Truer words were never spoken. Looks like they're going to do the old crashing into President Gomez routine in order to get you to stay tuned in. Bye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Oops, song page. <laughs> uh, we've returned to find Wally in a pickle. Uh, well, it's not real pickle. Uh, you're smart, kids. You know what I mean. Here's your shoulder bolt. Great. The shoulder bolt connected to the clavicle bolt, and the clavicle bolt connected to the flag and flugel bolt. <laughs> Hang on, gang. Oh, no. Oh, 
What's our next move, Trash L. Bean? I don't know about our next move, but here is your next move. And so they landed safely. Uh, yeah, I, I know, you can see that for yourself, but too long without narration and they'll start wondering if I'm necessary. <laughs> the museum, a great place to hide. Even in this weird crowd, you'll stand out. You need a disguise. Your own grandmother wouldn't recognize you now. Bless her heart. She was a dishwasher, you know. A three-cycle front loader. <laughs> Wait till I tell Trasher. I just love tattling on people. What a great biplane. It's a real classic. Yeah, like me. Maybe I belong in a museum. Don't be silly. Like that biplane, you're one of a kind. <laughs> You seen this robot? Yes! yes. No. no! Cut the clowning. Which way did he go? Well, which way? <laughs> I know where he is. I know where he is. And you don't. <sighs> but I will, won't I? Yes, madam. Uh, I mean, sir. And I don't even want the reward. Any little thing will do. Like a walking stick. That's him. Fake beard, big hat. Give up! The trasher cannot be fooled by a ridiculous beard. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Help! I'm the Slobovian ambassador and this lunatic assaults me. Uh-oh. Ah! My hunter's instinct tells me that metalhead is here somewhere. I knew this would come in handy one day. bucket of bolts. If you really care about your little friend, you will take this message to Kenai's master. What's that, Wolf? Robot number nine, I have your precious canine. If you ever want to see him again, you will meet me by the dinosaur exhibit. I've got to do it. I love my little doggy. Wait, come back. Help, help me somebody. Wally, where's Wally? Did you find Wally? Harvard University offers classes on Wally finding. But if you missed him, I'll tell you where he is. Don't worry, Wolf. We'll find him. Hey, one of Robot Nine's loose screws. Can you pick up his scent? Translated into English, that's yes. Oh, please, Mr. Master Trasher, give me another chance. Forget it. Rules are rules. You are obsolete and your time is up. Solar flares! This means trouble. I'm out of here. 
Have a pleasant journey, number nine. Meanwhile, Wally and Wolf try to find a way to get into the disassembly building. See? Sometimes I can be serious. What a cheap special effect! The cartoon studio must have spent a whole ten bucks on that one! We can get in through there, Wolf! See those ducks? <laughs> he said ducks, as in air conditioner, not ducks as in quackers. We'll have to go in on all fours. Guess you'd know all about that, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Robot 9, hang on! Oh, thank goodness you're here. I need your <laughs> Come on, Wolf. We've got to find out where this goes. <laughs> Don't worry, fella. I'll put your master back together. Somehow. Well, that just about does it. Except for the circuit board. Tilly! How's about a big kisser? No, number nine. I'm not Tilly. Why, of course not. Silly me. I'm Tilly. <laughs> Why, hold the phone! I'm not Tilly! I'm a vacuum cleaner! You might need a few more adjustments. Attention all personnel! Solar flare! Stabilize all robots! Do not panic! Or better yet, do panic! Oh. Why, hi, Wally! Number nine, you're your old self again. Come on, it's not safe in here. Wow, those are some solar flares. Why, they're not just any solar flares. They're the worst kind, ultraviolet solar flares. That's it. Roses are red, violets are blue. Whitebeard's poem. Tell me, Robot 9, why are ultraviolet solar flares the worst kind? Because they can shut down master control. Master control? Let's have a look. Oh, no! President Gomez is rocket. He's in trouble. What a crisis! And at that very moment, in master control... <laughs> After Lima, the robot piloting President Gomez's rocket <laughs> has gone completely loony! We can't even set up a rescue rocket. They're all robot controlled. What are we gonna do, Professor? <laughs> Beats me! The solar flares have affected every single robot in future world! There's one robot who works perfectly, sir! Robot number nine! Guess it's because I'm just too old-fashioned. No way we're risking the president's life on an obsolete robot. Well, thanks for offering to help put my assistance right. You see, every time the solar flare goes wild, the robots go berserk. I'm afraid it's an age-old problem. Hmm. Roses are red, violets are blue. It's an age-old problem, and that's your clue. With minutes to spare, Wally got the age-old biplane and flew it into the stratosphere. There's Air Rocket One. Did your president help is on its way. Help, help, help. Okay, number nine, get ready. Oh, what? Oh, Worry, I know he can do it. Mission accomplished. I 
would like to take this opportunity to thank... <laughs> you, Robot Nine! There is no getting away this time! What is the meaning of this? Unhand him this minute! Robot 9 is obsolete and must be terminally disassembled. Robot 9 is a hero. He saved my life. And he's to be rewarded. You may have any job in the galaxy for which you're suited. As a president. Well... I've always wanted to be a guide in that wonderful museum. And so you will. And I have a new job for you, too. A new job? What? You still be known as Mr. Thrasher, but from here on, all you do is pick up a trash. You can start by picking up the mess you made. Mr. Thrasher, the master Thrasher. Again, my deepest thanks for your heroism. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, shucks. It wasn't anything. It was really all because of Wally. Wally? Who's Wally? Where's Wally? Where is our Wally? You know it's an obvious place, but where? Before we go, <clears throat> I'd like to recite a poem. Violets ain't red, roses ain't blue, but the show sure is over, so I'm all through. Bye-bye, <laughs> see you next time. Hit it. <laughs>